Let me show you how to transfer images with heat so you can have your own custom rod handle. First things first, get an image off the internet. I like this tribal thing. I have a laser printer. This might work with an inkjet as well, but your laser printer is what your school library, public library have. I'm just putting relief cuts. It helps the paper curve around the handle better. And you know, then I'm gonna tape it onto the handle. I have a painter's tape. You use any tape you want, but that's what I'm using. I prefer it because it's not as sticky. It comes off easier. Once you tape your image to the handle, get out your shading tip for your wood burner and just give it a little test there. See if it's too hot. That was perfect because if it's too hot, it'll burn through the paper right onto your cork handle. You don't want that. Then once you do that, just make passes over the image that you want and just keep rotating the rod. After a while, I like to make little circular passes on here. I don't know. It just feels like you don't miss any of the images doing that. After a while, the paper is going to start to turn brown, as you see at the bottom there. That's okay, as long as you don't burn through. Just move the wood burner a little faster now, just because if you sit on a spot, it'll burn through the paper. I do kind of like this, because I can see where I've crossed over on the image, or I've passed over it. And I keep doing this until the whole paper pretty much is that color. The only problem is, sometimes the ink will get stuck, because it's too hot. So just kind of play with it. Figure out what temperature works best for you. Once you're satisfied with the wood burner, then you must take off the tape. You don't have to be too careful about this part. Uh, none of the ink is going to peel off with the paper. The paper most likely will get stuck to what you're transferring it over to, which is no big deal. It will burn off once you use the wood burning tip to engrave the rod anyways. I start to remove the paper here and not all of the image fully transferred over. I want to say 70% transfer over and the paper did get stuck to it, but I'm okay with that because of what the image I'm using, I can just fill in the other missing part of it. I do print out two copies of the same image just so I can have the other one as a guide for shading and just filling in the parts that didn't transfer over fully. This is my favorite method of transferring. I've tried rubbing alcohol. I've seen people use transfer paper. I've seen other people use photo paper upside down so the ink doesn't settle on there. But none of them work for me. And honestly, pretty cost effective. This wood burning kit only costs around $15 at your local Walmart. If you do have other methods, share down below. I'd like to try them. But this works for me. Hopefully you do try this at home but if you don't like to do this stuff you know teach their own